Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you are listening to God, Sex, and Love, your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. It is December the 3rd, 2020, and today I'm going to talk about distractions. Um, Yeah, I guess it's easy to be distracted, you know, I guess by your own thoughts and your own desires and everything like that. So, yeah, (laughs) to be honest, I guess I'm fighting being distracted right now, right? Um, I once again pray that God just say whatever you want to say through me and everything, but, um, yeah, I guess we won't get all into that. (laughs) But anywho, of course, I got some, you know, uh, Bible for you. Maybe it's also for me. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but here we go. Let's go ahead and get into it. So 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape. That you may be able to endure it. Hmm. Let's let's, let's let that marinate, y'all. Um, now I don't know. Maybe you're wondering what this verse has to do with distractions, but I don't know. I guess it's no. It's pretty simple, you know. A lot of our distractions are temptations, right? And uh, as you see here, you know. God has made a way of dis- escape with the temptation. So, you don't have to stay in it. You don't have to, you know, give in and all those things. Um, you just got to choose to take the, the way of the escape that is available. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess it's, it's easy to it's easy to say or better said than done, as people say. Um but I guess the challenge is, in the midst of temptations, try to focus and look for the way of escape. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, though, I think that, I mean, you know, I know we all know that the problem is <laughs> that a lot of times you don't want to let go of the temptation. A lot of the times the, the temptation is things you desire and want, right? So it's like, I guess, we are all more inclined to give in to those things, uh, which is, hey, a distraction. <laughs> now, Psalms 119 and 15 says, I will meditate on your present, you know, excuse me, or your percepts and fix my eyes on your ways. Like, that is an example of where we should be. <laughs> uh, instead of, you know, allowing ourselves to be tempted, things like that. 1 Corinthians 7.35 says, I say this for your own benefit, not to lay any restraint upon you, but to promote good order and to secure your undivided devotion to the Lord. Again, another example of where we should be versus, you know, where we tend to be. (laughs) Uh, I know it's kind of hard to think about these things as not being a barrier i know in that verse right there it mentions that you know saying these things for the benefit and not to restrain uh, not to lay a restraint upon you um but a lot of times you know people feel as if these things are how can i say uh, the temptation is better or because you may want whatever it is, you know, you feel like, oh, well, you know, it's a, it's a restraint to, to not give in, you know, but Hey, that's our, our way of thinking and not God's way of thinking. And that's why we need to be focusing on that. (laughs) Philippians four and eight says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, Whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, 
think about these things. You know, I personally feel, and I, and I know there's a lot of stuff or a lot of information that I've received lately. So, um, I guess I'm not talking about those extreme cases of, uh, like, mind control and everything like that. I think, for the most part, I feel like us regular, normal humans. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I've shared part of my re this part of my research with you all. Um, in regards to this whole human trafficking and a lot of the crazy things that I'm hearing that these people are doing to people and stuff like that, which is not funny. So I apologize for like laughing. It wasn't to laugh at that. Um, but anywho, um, I was going to say that I feel as if we have more control over our minds than we think we do. And so in these verses here, it is encouraging us to, you know, focus on those things that are worthy for praise. Uh, you know, you guys can read this verse on your own and let it marinate and everything. But uh, it has a lot of examples of, you know, where our minds should be. Psalms 19 and 14 says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. You know, at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> as uh, the word says, God is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, everything like that. And so, you know, yes, there's a lot of things that we can be distracted by in this this life, in the world, in our personal minds, everything, you know, um, but at the end of the day, none of it holds a candle, as they say, to to God and where he should be in our lives. And, um, yeah, again, I'm not sitting here acting like I got it together. I already told y'all, like, I'm fighting little temptations and distractions of my own, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just something to think about today, something to let marinate on our hearts, souls, and minds. There are going to be some more verses in the Go Deeper section for you all to peruse and, you know, really go deeper uh, in this concept of, you know, how can we, I guess, recognize the distractions so we can then look for the way out and everything like that. Um, but I would say majority of the time it's, it's our own minds and desires and our own temptations and, you know, everything like that. So, you know, you know, if you are distracted from the things that God has you to do, like, what is that thing that is distracting you from what God wants and what God has for you to do? Um, and try to, you know, exercise some of your free will to, uh, you know, combat those things. Because you can do it at the end of the day. And with God, you can definitely do it. So, there you go. <laughs> Isaiah 43 and 2, that is the Bible verse of today. It says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest thou through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee mm. <laughs> well friends i hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning thank you so much for listening to god sex and love your daily dose of inspiration the juice i pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day and i look forward to talking to you all tomorrow at the lord's will uh well as you guys know tomorrow is friday by the way and um so we have a new episode coming out. It's going to be an interview with Romantic Blessings that just so happens to be a Christian a sex toy store. So if you want to learn more information about them and um, what they got going on, then, hey, by all means, tune in tomorrow to God, Sex, and Love, the talk show at 11.30 p.m. on Friday. Um, actually you can, uh, tune in to 
just about all of our episodes. They have now been uploaded to YouTube, so you guys can watch at any time. You don't have to worry about clicking the on demand and all that stuff. Just go to our YouTube. Actually, if you go to GodSexAndLove.com, you should be able to tune in to the full episodes, uh, including the part twos of each episode um, on our website, GodSexAndLove.com. So, yeah, go there. And, and so, yes, it's going to go live tomorrow at 11.30 p.m. Um, and like I said, I am thinking and praying and trying to figure out how we're going to move forward. Um, you know, I have a little time. So, again, if you guys want to leave a comment or something like that to let me know, how you know your thoughts about that. Um because, like I said, I am considering the idea of breaking it down some instead of doing four episodes a month, maybe going down to two, maybe even going down to one, you know. Because if y'all don't care about what we talking about on talk show, you know what I'm saying, we can break it all down. I'm just kidding. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll see what the Lord had me do. But I just wanted to share that information with you all that, you know, you can tune in tomorrow to listen to this one-on-one chat with romanticblessings.com. Um, you actually can go peruse the website. And if you use the coupon code God Sex Love 15, then that'll give you 15% off of whatever you purchase. And um, you know, I'm on team more married sex, so by all means, you know, I encourage you if you are married, you if you definitely if you're married, friends. <laughs> definitely if you're married. I encourage you to go ahead and peruse romanticblessings.com and uh, see what you can see, you know. You purchase a little gift, you know, use the coupon code. And, uh, I mean, you ain't got to shout it out and let me know what you got, but <laughs> I hope you enjoy whatever it is. <laughs> but anyway, um, yep, y'all have a great day, and thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Yep, friends, there you go, there you go. That is the juice of today. Short, sweet, I guess. Um, to the point. <laughs> um, yeah, we can we can all be distracted. Um, but I guess my prayer was just like, well, Lord, don't let me be so distracted that I can't do your will. So here I am, still doing what I feel God is leading me to do. And, um, in spite of my distractions, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so hopefully it encourages you, hopefully it helps you, hopefully this is blessing you, whoever you are listening to me, or watching me, or whatever the case is, and, um, yep, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this out there to you, um, by all means, I just hope you guys have a wonderful day. Keep me in prayer if you know the words of prayer, you know. Um, keep me in prayer. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. There ain't nothing wrong, per se. Just, you know. Sometimes you can get in your own head, so. But anywho. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, y'all. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. And, um, bye-bye. <laughs> Listen, I got something on my Golly, what is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> And uh, shout out to Faith Fit, the Faith Fit app. I finally did that um that workout I was looking at the past few days. And it was good. It was a lot of upper body stuff, which I need. I need because my upper body strength is like mm, so. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and get this stuff out and stop talking. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Bye bye.